The other day, I got a text. Don't worry, I got you. Let's do a little research. Starting with Amazon, the tried and true. All right, so um, it's a little basic, not gonna lie. Don't know how I feel about this one. Some decent choices, but they're not very personalized. Let's try Etsy. I think this is too personalized. Plus, I don't really feel like waiting for shipping, so what do I do? Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Like I said, I got you. Here's how I made these 3D printed bow ties and how you can make them too. After brainstorming, I settled for a realistic looking design. Something people wouldn't realize was plastic until they really looked at it. A double take bow tie. I made this in Fusion 360 and used forms to sculpt the model. I also added loops on the back to attach the neck strap, but we'll revisit this design later on in the video. Next, I prepared my model for 3D printing using Chitu Box. Chitu Box? Hello, welcome to Chitu Box YouTube channel. Today, let's find out what's new in Chitu Box. I probably said that wrong. Anyway, it's a full feature 3D printing prep tool designed to edit and slice your models with only a few mouse clicks. I've been using the software since the beginning of my resin journey and I love it for support generation. I printed the bow ties on the Anacubic Photon Mono using black resin. After printing, I washed, cured, then removed the supports from each bow tie. Depending on the resin I use, I sometimes have an easier time with support removal doing it after the curing. However, suggestions to improve my strategies are always welcome. Ooh. My least favorite step, sanding. Sanding in this case helped improve the surface finish of the bow ties, removing as best as I could the texture left behind by the support structures. The next step was painting. You may notice after washing and curing, the resin bow ties had a bit of a white cast on them. I think this was because my isopropyl alcohol was not fresh and clean. To get rid of this white cast, I covered each bow tie with several layers of clear spray paint, and that seemed to do the trick. Then I used gold spray paint to add a center accent, and did you notice? the personalization. Each bow tie has the wearer's first and last initials on the bottom right painted in gold. As a cheaper alternative to thick elastic, I use fabric headbands that I found at the dollar store in a 5 pack for $1.25. I was picky and only used the black ones to match the bow ties. I honestly think this neck strap ended up being more comfortable than the elastic would have been as the headband material is very soft and still had a great stretch. I designed a clasp for the bow tie similar to one you'd see on a bikini or swimsuit. I do not recommend though printing the clasp in resin as the detail was very thin and ended up brittle and weak with respect to flex after curing. Luckily, no one's bow tie broke off while wearing, at least not that I know of. Here are two things I would change if I made these bow ties again. I would redesign the bow tie clasp and print using a filament process. It's printed in three pieces to make the hook as strong as possible, considering that filament printed parts are weakest following the plane that the layers are built in. So if I printed it regularly at this size, the hook would have snapped off. So I printed it in this orientation to improve the strength of the hook. This closer replicates the clasp of a traditional bow tie and holds stronger when pulled compared to the original resin class. I'm giving it a little tug here to show you, but the same amount of force applied on the resin ones snapped it, so this could have been a stronger idea, or even printing the resin clasp in filament instead. I'd also redesign the way the bow tie attaches to the neck strap. The original loop design didn't have enough clearance, which made threading the strap through quite meticulous. Next time, I would implement this dovetail design, which not only has a larger hole for the neck strap, but also creates this interchangeable system, so you can make one neck strap and swap different 3D printed bow ties depending on your outfit. Please keep in mind these design improvements are at their first iterations, so the models might not look as refined, they're just a proof of concept. And that's it. Not bad for resin.